Hey guys, I'm Dustin Harding with Athlon Optics, and today I'm going to give you an overview of our new radar chronograph and how you can use it both with and without the accompanying Athlon Ballistics app. This is the perfect tool to add to your kit, whether you're a long range shooter, an archer, an air gunner, pistol shooter, or maybe you just want to know a little bit more about the speed of your projectiles that you're sending down range. Before we get started, I want to show you what the Athlon Rangecraft Velocity Pro Radar Chronograph comes with. Inside this box, you're going to find a nice molded case. This is going to offer a lot of protection, whether you're tossing this in your range bag or in the back seat of your truck. Inside, you're going to find the radar itself and an aluminum tripod. The aluminum tripod is going to give this a lot of stability and high wind, and as you can see today, the wind is howling, so you'll get to see how steady this is for yourself. The radar unit itself is equipped with a USB-C charging port and an internal lithium battery that's going to give you about six hours of runtime. Inside this case, you also have a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. You can charge this with any adapter or any USB-C charging cable that you have available at home, as well as what comes in the box. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tripod on just so I have something to hold on to for this demonstration. And we're gonna turn this on using the power button here on the left. We do have three buttons on the top, our power return. Yes, it has two functions, option and delete. Again, a button with two functions, our okay or confirmation button. And on the side, you're gonna see we have an up and a down. That's for navigation. So let's go ahead and hold the button on the left. Takes about three seconds turns on and you'll see you have the chronograph alignment screen here. So the chronograph alignment screen is telling you that you need to place this unit four to 10 inches to the left or right of your bow or firearm, four to 10 inches back from the muzzle and ideally an elevation of four to 10 inches from the muzzle or trajectory of your projectile. So we can go ahead and hit okay and bypass that. And you're gonna see that we have the quick start session, the new session, a, a way to view your previous session and then our, our settings. So let's go ahead and look at our settings first. In settings, you're able to change between the white display, a dark display, a gray display. There's some various nuances on the color scheme there. The brightness, how bright do you want this display to be? Right now we have it 100% because it looks pretty good outside during full daylight. Typically I run this at 25%. It's very, very visible, but on camera, we're gonna use 100 just so you guys can see it a little bit better. We have a backlight timer. We can set that in intervals of five seconds up to one minute, or in this case, I've got it turned off. That way we can keep the brightness up again so you guys can see the screen a little bit better. Velocity, as we use our navigation button to go down, we can adjust our velocity between feet per second, meters per second, miles per hour, and weight. How do we wanna view this? Grains or grams? and then the pounds is gonna be more for your kinetic energy. Do you wanna see this in joules or foot pounds of energy? Language, you can select between English, French, and Spanish. We're gonna keep it in English. And the connection, we have it turned on right now. You'll see later when we connect to the Athlon Ballistics app, that Bluetooth function and how that works with your phone. You can set your date and time, format the memory, this is gonna delete any session data from the device that you've recorded so far. There's also a way, and I'll show you in the previous uh, session settings, um, how to delete just one session at a time. And then about. About's gonna give you your FCC ID, it's gonna give you what version of firmware we're on, everything there. And it'll also show you how many sessions you have remaining. This unit's gonna store 50 sessions with 100 shots per session. So if you forget you know, how many sessions you have in here, you can always check the About section and see that quick reminder there. So let's go ahead and hit Return on the left here, our Power button. We're gonna go back and talk about our Quick Start session versus New session. These sessions are pretty much identical. Quick Start is gonna be a, a, just a way to get going a little bit quicker. It does not ask for the weight of your projectile. New session does. That's really the only difference. On either option, you can choose to add that weight later, whether you want to do it here on this unit or if you want to do it in the app. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a new session. We've used the OK button for confirmation. Again, we're using our arrows for navigation to go up and down. We're shooting an air rifle today, so I'm going to go down to air gun. 
This is gonna work for rifle, pistol, archery, shotguns, airsoft, paintball, you name it. it. Basically any projectile between 65 feet per second and 5,000 feet per second. So we're on air gun right now. We're gonna hit okay. Before I go too much further, I do wanna show you, if we were to do a rifle session, you're gonna see two velocity strings, 1,800 feet to 5,000 feet, 600 feet to 1,800 feet. This lets the radar know about what range it should be looking for. That way you get the most accurate data possible. On air gun, you're not gonna see that option because most of these are gonna fall roughly in the same velocity range. Once we've selected air gun, we're gonna be prompted to enter the weight of our projectile in grams or grains. Again, that's because we chose a new session. So today, I'm gonna use the option button here in the center to navigate to the second field. I'm shooting a 25 grain pellet and we're gonna hit option again. That moves us to the next field and that's 25. And I believe these are 25.3s. So we'll just go ahead and add in that three there. Hit OK, and you're ready to go. So let's place this next to the uh, next to the uh, air gun here. Let's get a few shots, and then we'll jump in and show you how to navigate back through those previous sessions as well as get through the app. Before I fire all these shots, I want to show you guys a couple of cool features. We have our minimum velocity here on the left, our maximum velocity here on the right, our total shot count so far. This is the current reading, and then this top field is displaying average. We can use the option button here at the top to cycle through and see our standard deviation, our extreme spread, deviation from average, so the difference from the first shot to the second shot was five feet per second. We can see our kinetic energy here and our power factor. That's gonna be really useful for USPSA shooters. We'll leave it on average for now. Another thing to note, that same button, if we hold it down, it'll give us the option to delete the last shot recorded. I'm not gonna do that right now, so I'm just gonna hit the return button and back out. You can tell that our battery is about at half charge. If you're at the range and you need to power this, you can use a USB-C power bank to keep this thing running all day long. Okay, so let's take a look at our data a little more in depth. We're gonna use the return button here to go back. We have our average velocity, our standard deviation, the number of shots, the date and time. Let's look at our summary. In our summary, we can see average, minimum, maximum velocity, our standard deviation, extreme spread, kinetic energy, power factor, and weight. Here on weight, if we wanna update and change this from 25 grains, maybe I made a mistake, maybe it was 28, we can go ahead and update that there. But we're gonna go back and look at our shot record. There was an abnormal shot in here that I seen that was more than likely a, a bullet that was a little too light. It was 939 feet per second. We can hit OK on that shot and we can delete just that one shot. There's also a way to manage that in the app as you'll see later. If you wanna delete this entire session, you can select delete session and when you hit confirm, it will delete it. We're gonna save it so we can show that off in the app. But again, if you wanna reformat and delete every session from this device, go into your settings menu and delete it from there. All right, now that we have some data, let's sign into the Athlon Ballistics app and see how to manage it. I'm gonna log in with Apple, but you do have the option of logging in with Google or creating a account via sign up so you can log in with your email and password. Okay, now that we're logged in, let me show you a few features here. We have rifle, bullet, and we'll create those in a second. We have our distance to our target, our wind speed, and our target angle. We can adjust the wind direction here or we can type in, same thing on these fields, if we wanna type in our distance instead of using these sliders, we can. And then the reticle. So if you have an Athlon scope, you're gonna be able to view your reticle here and see the actual uh, distance for every holdover value on your reticle. If you don't have an Athlon scope, that's okay. This app will still work great for you. We can use the weather function here to see what our weather is today. It'll pull from the nearest station or we can type in manually as well as use density altitude if we prefer that along with our temperature. So we'll go ahead and go back. We have our ballistics chart here. So once we've got all this data in, we can review our ballistics chart and see how much drop we have over any given distance, time of flight, whether we want this in MOA or mill, a lot of options there. And of course, just our quick display that once this is programmed, we can see our elevation and windage corrections here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at creating a rifle profile and a bullet profile. 
This isn't needed for the chronograph, but I do recommend it and you'll see why. It really helps with data management long term. So we'll go create a rifle. We'll hit new. I'm going to give this a name of BRK Ghost because that is the model of this firearm. We have a right hand twist and I want to say this is a 17.7. My scope height from the center of the scope to the center of the barrel is about 3.6 inches. This scope is in, see, we are in MOA and we're a second focal plane. This is the Harris SPR 15, oh, I'm sorry, Harris SPR 15 to 60, right there. Again, you don't have to select the correct reticle. That's what you're gonna see on the home screen if you wanna see that simulation of your reticle with those distances. Okay, hit done, it's gonna save it. We're gonna create a bullet. So I'm gonna hit new, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this JSB because that's the pellet I'm shooting. And I'm gonna use our library here. I wanna look for a 22 caliber pellet made by JSB. And we're gonna look for the monster redesign. And that's gonna give us our bullet length, our bullet diameter, our bullet weight, and our ballistic coefficient. Our bullet speed, we can set that from the average of our previous session. So let's just go ahead and take a look at that. Previous session, okay. We're at 949, so 949.5, okay. We shot and zeroed this firearm at 50 yards. And we didn't use any zero offset, so we're just gonna leave that one alone. Hit done, that saves it again. So now we have our rifle and our pellet in this case, but it could be your bullet. And we can see if we're at 100 yards, what our correction needs to be. 8.98 MOA. If our wind is changing, we can change our wind and again that wind direction and we can see those values reflected down here. But just so you guys can see, I'll show you the reticle display here. We can zoom in with two fingers. And this one has a lot of holdover points. It's a little tight to see. Most of those are going to be spaced out a little bit better and then we can look and see where we would need to aim on various targets whether it's a coyote a deer an elk or a circle if we're going to use a holdover all right guys we made a slight change to the pairing process um, given some consumer feedback we think this will be an easier process for you guys first you don't need to go into the cell phone's bluetooth settings you're not going to find the device there until you pair so starting make sure your chronograph is turned on and make sure the phone icon is in the upper right hand corner if it's not go into settings and turn on that connection. Once that connection's on, open up the Ballistics app. You're gonna to touch on the hamburger menu here at the top, and you're gonna to go to Connect Device. Hit Pair at the bottom, and you're gonna see your chronograph pop up. Hit Tap to Pair. It's gonna generate a code on the device. If that code matches what's on your phone, then you're certain to be on the correct device. Go ahead and hit Pair. And if you hit Tap to Pair one more time, it's gonna bring you into that chronograph, when you hit manage, it's gonna automatically import all of your session data. If you wanna do a force sync, you can hit the button and do a force sync. This is only gonna import from the chronograph to the app one time. It won't duplicate, so as many times as you wanna hit that button, it's not gonna give you duplicate sessions. Once we're in here, we can go in and we can sort and filter by the session type. If we shot a rifle, a pistol, archery, air gun, or other, other in a lot of cases is gonna be for shotgun shooters. We can also sort and filter by those profiles we create on the home screen. So let's go ahead and apply those. We'll go into air gun and you know what? We could name this something else. So for today, I'm just gonna call this test. And I'm gonna go ahead and associate this with those profiles that I created. There's my BRK ghost and there's my JSB. If I go back to the uh, list of sessions here, again, we could sort and filter by ghost and see all the sessions that apply to that filter. So once we're in here, we could hit send velocity to profile and that would send this average velocity to that bullet profile and automatically update it so you don't have to navigate back and forth. We can see those same details that we've seen in the chronograph, as well as if we go into edit shot, we can edit each individual shot. So if there's one in particular that I 
want to remove or exclude from my data an outlier there's that 938 let's hit edit shot i can exclude that it won't delete it but it'll remove it from all the calculations and maybe it's because it was my cold bore shot i could put some notes in here as well hit done to save and done and now when we look we can see right here this was a cold bore shot it's excluded from the data and all those calculations are reflecting that change we could also update our category type. We recorded it as an air gun, but maybe it was in fact a pistol. Maybe we want to change that weight here. We can do that all under projectile. Again, you can add session notes as well as notes for every shot. Before I exit out of this, I want to show you guys the export function. If we hit export, this is going to create a Excel document with all of that information. If you have your profiles associated, you'll see all of that and have a way of sending that to your computer or into your cloud or wherever file storage option you want as another long-term option. Now let's talk about why the Athlon Rangecraft Velocity Pro Radar may be for you. There's a lot of options on the market. You have some chronographs that you'll have to place down range. That's a little problematic. You have to step in front of the muzzle. If you're at a public range, you have to call a ceasefire, go down range, set it up. It's time consuming. There are some chronographs that you'll place on your muzzle. They're fairly accurate, but again, you're changing your data. You're, you're adding weight to the muzzle, possibly changing your point of impact. Radar systems are phenomenal. The ease of use, the convenience, you don't have to get in front of the gun. You can do this with people near you. With the Athlon Rangecraft chronograph, you're gonna have the most precise and accurate data available. And we chalk that up to the amount of time we've spent developing this, the amount of rounds we've fired collecting just raw data, and then internally, how robust this radar signal is and the ability for this to detect some of the smallest, fastest projectiles you can possibly imagine. And with this, you can place it down, whether you're shooting archery, shotgun, pistol, rifle, basically any projectile between 65 feet and 5,000 feet per second. You can charge this with pretty much anything. A power bank, a USB-C cable uh, is all that's really needed. You're gonna get six hours of runtime on it. It's extremely compact, very convenient, and a great tool to add to your kit. For more information on this chronograph or any of our other products from thermal to rifle scopes or any of our ridiculously good optics, you can visit us at athlonoptics.com. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. Athlon, ridiculously good optics.